everyone. Hope you guys are doing well and that you're healthy and that you are enjoying all of your training. And I know that last one has been a challenge for a lot of the people that I've talked to lately because with no races, a lot of people kind of are struggling with the motivation to continue to get out there and do some of the hard workouts. And so I thought it would be fun to put together a set of short videos helping describe uh, some of the basic science uh, and, and physical adaptations that happen during all sorts of different types of training. And so then it would help you understand that even though we don't have any races right now, you can do a lot of really good work in keeping yourself fit uh, and making it so that your body is even going to be more ready when races do start happening again. And so today we're going to start a small series about uh, easy runs or easy workouts and how a lot of people might get the idea that easy runs, easy rides are just kind of junk mileage and it couldn't be further from the truth. And so we're going to talk about all of the small uh, physiological changes that happen when you do easy runs because there are a lot of them. And those easy miles, while it's hard to think that running easy is going to make you more fit or make you faster, it indeed is going to. And we're going to talk about some of those different reasons why. So today we're going to talk about muscle fibers and what happens to certain types of fibers when you run easy runs. And so there are two types of muscle fibers, uh, fast twitch and slow twitch. Keep it easy. Uh, fast twitch muscle fibers are basically the fibers uh, or the muscles that are going to be firing or working uh, when you are running really fast or when you're lifting something heavy and they're good for short bursts of energy. They use a lot of carbohydrates or a lot of fuel to work uh, and, and, and they tire out quickly. So those we're not going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about slow twitch muscle fibers. And basically slow, slow twitch muscle fibers are what you're using when you are running like a marathon uh, or you're running a you know, half marathon, any of these endurance events that a lot of people are training for. So the more often that we focus on having quality easy runs on the days we're supposed to have easy runs your body is going to have a great opportunity to focus on strengthening your slow twitch muscle fibers, which means when it comes race day, you're going to have a lot more muscles that are ready to go a lot longer. Your body's going to be able to recruit more of these muscles that are designed to run further and longer. And these muscles are going to be uh, had trained to be more efficient when you go out on these runs and when it's ready for race day. So. That's just one of the benefits, slow twitch muscle fibers. They're gonna uh, last longer, they're gonna be more efficient with fuel, you're gonna be able to recruit more of them, uh, which means you're going to have a uh, easier, faster, and more efficient race day. So, taking your easy runs serious, and we are doing a lot of easy runs right now since we're not building up for races, so while it seems like getting out for your runs is not giving you a lot of benefits, this is the perfect opportunity to spend lots of time getting in quality, easy runs and really having a phenomenal base of slow twitch muscle fibers that are gonna make your race day even better. Keep training out there, stay focused, and even now is an important time to, to focus on your health and, and your fitness. So take care everybody and we'll see you next time.